So for this problem, it's asking us to verify that 2, 1 is on this curve. And then we have to find two things. We want to find the line that's tangent to and normal to the curve at 2, comma 1. So let me do a little explanation what these mean. Tangent, of course, we've talked about that before in a previous section. Tangent means that it touches the curve at only one point. Well, what about normal? Okay, normal means that it's going through that same point, but it's actually going to be hitting the graph at 90 degrees. So normal, again, just means that it's crossing a 90 degree angle. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to figure out what the slope is, uh, slope of the tangent, and then what we're going to do is, because it's normal, we want to find the slope of the line that's perpendicular to that original tangent. So the first thing we'll do is we need to verify that the points on the curve so uh, in order to do that, we're just going to put 2 in for x and 1 in for y. We put that into here, and if we get the same thing on both sides of the equation, that verifies that the point's on the line. So let's try that one. We do 2 cubed plus 1 cubed is going to equal 4 times 2 times 1 plus 1. And we're going to just work out both sides. If you get both sides are equal, then that verifies that 2, 1 is on that curve. So this is 8 plus 1, and then this over here is also 8 plus 1. We get exactly the same thing on both sides, so we can say yes, uh, 2, 1 for sure is on there. We confirmed it um, by showing that both sides are going to be equal. Now let's jump into the tangent part. Now in order to do the tangent, we have to first find out what the derivative is. So we need to use implicit differentiation on this because we don't have y solved by itself. So we're going to do implicit differentiation of each part separately. Remember anytime you have a regular x, that's going to be the normal uh, derivative. So we'll just do power rule on that one. When you do that, you can get 3x squared. And then we're going to do this one. If you have y raised to a power, remember that's a chain rule. 3 comes down. We have y. Subtract 1 from the exponent and you get 2. So 3y squared. But don't forget that you have to also do the derivative of the inside. And in this case, the derivative of y is our dy dx we talked about before. On the other side, we have a 4x times y. This is something that requires a product rule. The derivative of 1 is going to be 0, so all we have to be concerned about is just doing the derivative of 4xy. So 4x is our first term and y is our second term. Let's put that into the product rule formula. We have first term times the derivative of the second. The derivative of y is dy dx plus the second thing, which is y by itself, times the derivative of the first. The derivative of 4x is just going to be uh, 4. And again, the derivative of 1 is going to be uh, 0 there. We don't need to worry about it. Next step, we have to solve for dy dx. So we need to get all the terms with dy dx on one side of the equation. So I'm going to leave the 3y squared dy dx on one side. I'm going to subtract the 4x dy dx. The 3x I'm going to move across the equal sign. So I get negative 3x squared and then plus uh, 4y. So I'm putting all the terms with dy dx on one side of the equation. And now I want to factor out a dy dx. So if I factor out dy dx, then I'm going to get 3y squared minus 4x. And then I, everything else is the same on this side. Now, once we do this, we need to divide both sides by what's inside the parentheses, and we'll be able to get our derivative for uh, dy dx. So I'll put that up here. dy dx is going to be equal to, uh, write it this way, 4y minus 3x squared. And then down below, I have 3y squared minus 4x. Now, there's nothing more that we can do with that. So this is going to be our derivative. Now, in order to find the slope of a tangent, we have to have a numerical value. So we're going to use this in order to find our slope. We can do that by plugging in the 2 for x and the 1 for y. We can plug that point into here, and that's going to allow us to get a numerical value so we can find the tangent. So I'm going to erase this here to give us some space. And then when we put that in, dy dx, we'll put the numbers in. So I have 4 times 1 minus 3 times 2 squared. The bottom, 3 times 1 squared minus 4 times 2. 
and then by working through all that we get our dy dx slope on top we're going to get 4 minus 12 bottom we have 3 minus 8 and then finally we'll get our answer which is going to be negative 8 over negative 5 which is 8 fifths so going through all that we find that the slope of the tangent of this curve at the point 2 comma 1 is going to be exactly 8 fifths so we have a point that it goes through and we have a slope we can now do part A to find the tangent so I'll come back and I'll do that here okay so for part A for tangent we'll do that first I'm going to use y equals mx plus b and we have the x and the y right here the 2 comma 1 we have our m which is 8 fifths so I put in a 1 for the y I have 8 fifths for m a 2 for x and that's going to leave us with b when we solve for that we get 16 fifths then we're just going to subtract we have 5 fifths minus 16 fifths and when we subtract that we get a negative 11 fifths for b so then we can write our equation y equals 8 fifths is our slope x minus 11 fifths so that's the answer for part a that would be a line that is tangent to the curve at 2 comma 1 8 fifths we got again by going through this implicit differentiation now let's take a look at normal for part b okay so for part b we need to find a line that is perpendicular to this one and goes through 2 comma 1. So reviewing that from algebra, a slope that's perpendicular has an opposite reciprocal slope, which means for this one, the m that I want to use is going to be negative opposite sign and reciprocal, so negative 5 eighths. Once again, we go back to y equals mx plus b and we're going to put in the information this time so when we put that in we get 1 negative 5 eighths x is going to be 2 again we're going to solve for b and doing so we get this is going to be reduced uh, we can get uh, negative 5 fourths plus b and then we add 5 fourths to both sides so 4 fourths plus 5 fourths is 9 fourths is your b and then we can finally write our equation so we have a y equals negative 5 eighths x and then plus 9 fourths so that would be the equation that is normal to the curve that's our line normal to the curve at 2 comma 1 so we have we verified the point and here's our a and b answers